that may never be put to shame. In your justice set me free. In your justice set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me. Be a rock of refuge for me. A mighty stronghold to save me. A mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. You are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. It's getting more and more intense, isn't it? It yeah. applies to 2022, what's happening right now. So now the next line or two, I'm thinking of COVID-19 and the so-called vaccinations, okay? If you say this after me. Release me from the snares they have hidden. Release me from the snares they have hidden. For you are my refuge, Lord. For you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, O Lord. It is you who will redeem me, O Lord. O God of truth, you detest. O oh God of truth, you detest those who worship false and empty gods. Who those who worship false and empty gods. As for me, I trust in the Lord. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. You who have seen my affliction. You who have seen my affliction. Taking heed of my soul's distress. And taking heed of my soul's distress. Have not handed me over to the enemy. Have not handed me over to the enemy. But you have set my feet at large. But you have set my feet at large. So we'll continue a little bit more. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I am in distress. I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes. Tears have wasted my eyes. My throat and my heart. My throat and my heart. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. I say you are my God. My life is in your hand. My life is in your hand. Deliver me, Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. From the hands of those who hate me. Amen. 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 Well, that's relevant, isn't it? Yes. Yes. It's not like I can read and don't see, and now you read, and all of a sudden there is different understanding. Very deep. What you read. Uh, like to listen more when I listen, I get more than when I read myself. Yes, that's right. It's interesting, isn't it, that the Bible teaches us about the Bible. The Bible says about faith. How do you get your faith? From God. Hearing. From yes. Hearing. The Bible says faith comes by hearing. Mm -hmm. now, there's a mystery there. See what I mean? There's a mystery there. It comes by hearing. And so that's why the Benedictines have like Seo the Divina, they taught us, mm -hmm. where the Catholic, the Christian, reads the Bible out loud to himself or herself in their own room. Mm -hmm. You read it out loud, so you're seeing the word, you're speaking the word, and you're hearing it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Talk about a triple whammy. You see that, a triple chord. So you're seeing it, you're reading it, you're hearing it. If you're using your finger like I do, you're touching it too. Wow. You're using four senses. And it smells good. It has the odor of sanctity. Amen. 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 So that's engaged, we're engaged in the word. But the word itself tells us that faith comes by hearing. So speaking out the word of God in your home is not simply a nice and pious practice. It will actually revitalize your faith. It, your faith will grow. It will become stronger and stronger in a supernatural, and I would say electric way. Supernatural and electric. So we have the Bible. 
the Protestants ran with it, and I say more power to them, mm -hmm. it's now time for us to get it back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need the Eucharist and Mary and the Magisterium, but we need to start using our Bible like they do. Mm -hmm. yes. And when we do, beloved, oh my heavens, all heaven will break loose. And all hell will be shattered. Imagine when the churches come together again. When the evangelicals see us using the Bible, and they are, that's just that's what's happening, mm -hmm. they will come back. When the Pentecostals see us praying in tongues and using the healing gifts, they will come back. We'll be one church again. And the Orthodox, when they see us loving Mary like they do, they'll come back as well. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. We're going to be one church. And let's stop right there and pray a, a grace for unity, for ecumenical unity right now. The time is at hand to bring the churches back into oneness again. The time is at hand. And I tell you what, there's something evil screaming at me right now. It's okay. The time is at hand for the reunification of all of God's children. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be world without end. Amen. And now, beloved, I want to share with you the dangers that we're being protected from. And it might be better to turn off any phones. You might have a phone on. We better